June 16th, 2002, Disney released the hit animated movie Lilo and Stitch to financial and critical acclaim. This was basically Disney's only successful animated movie that came out that whole decade. This was a big deal. Disney loves money. So do you know what they did? They greenlit two sequels. One that goes straight to DVD, like a movie like Return to Park. And one, a pilot for their TV show, Lilo and Stitch the series. And that's the movie we're going to talk about today. Stitch the movie. But before we do that, remember to subscribe! So, we're going to talk about the characters. First characters from the first movie, then the characters from this movie. There's a few of those. So let's start off, fittingly, with Experiment 626, Stitch. Stitch is the only character with a character arc in this entire movie. Yep. The only one. Basically, Lilo introduces the concept of cousins to Stitch, which is basically just anyone they run into. It's Hawaiian culture. I don't know, man. Who am I? Who am I to say they're wrong? Um, and then Stitch, he's like, bro, I want cousins. But the the humans are like, that is a terrifying dog. So he's like all sad that he doesn't have cousins, right? And that's so sad, yeah. And of course, by the end of the movie, he finds his cousins, right? Who are his cousins? We'll get to them later. Um, in the meantime, why does he look like that? This is Stitch from the first movie, right? And this is him from Stitch the movie, that ain't the same character. He's so blue! He has a neck! Roby looking like Squidward from the SpongeBob SquarePants movie! Also, Stitch commits Grand Theft Auto. Hope you like that. Next is Lilo, who has a massive downgrade from the last movie. She basically follows Stitch around and uh, doesn't do anything. I think her voice actor is different. Um, um, editor me, tell me if I'm wrong. Thank you, editor me. Hagwart. Anyway, she's also very boring. Yeah, very boring. Look, let me just show you. She basically just reacts to things. Like, there's a part where Stitch goes to, sh to ship and he goes to fly and save um, Jumba. And she's like, whoa, Stitch has the ship. Yeah, no crap, Lilo. Obviously. Are you paying attention? She has to. Say, hey audience, are you- are you watching? No? Well, that's what's happening. So yeah, um... <laughs> so yeah, I'm done- I'm- I think I'm done giving literal child crap. Let me check this. Okay, I'm done giving your crap. But that doesn't mean I, have, I don't have anything else to say. There is this one really funny scene, shortly after Stitch commits Grand Theft Auto. They get in the car, right? They pull up to Myrtle, and she's like, Yo, Myrtle, look at my- look at my car! And I got like this cool- they got, um, well, Cobra Bubbles car. Yeah, that's that's very funny. That that made me laugh. So next is Lilo's sister. Nani doesn't do anything. Yup. Just like Anyway, this movie is much more focused on the alien stuff, which is yeah, not really what you'd want from a sequel. You'd want to mix of both, like the first movie. But almost every sequel focuses on the alien stuff. So there, she basically is just stuck in her caretaker role. She's basically like, where's Lilo? What, what happened to her? For like the entire movie. That's a little frustrating. And with that info, now we're gonna talk about Jumba. Jumba gets kidnapped towards the beginning of the movie. Um. So it's not you would think we don't have a lot to say, right? But no! How in the what? How how the heck 
life did he sneak over 200 experiments onto Earth? There was no sign of this in the first movie. He's not holding on. How did I get that? How? Now for Squeaky. He's like the only character who hasn't had a downgrade. He's still just as funny as ever. And I, I mean, Squeakly's the go. I mean, like, after Jumba is kidnapped, he grabs a phone book and goes through every, attempts going through every single planet in alphabetical order. He's like, ah, you got Jumba, ah, but he got Jumba. There's a lot of planets, right? He gets all the way up to D and he finds them. The Giga Chat. Pleakly, Pleakly's a role model. She's the best. We love Pleakly. Yeah. Also, um, I, I follow Pleakly on Letterboxd. We met, I met Pleakly. I, I, I don't know what else I can throw in there. But I have met Pleakly. I have. Billy Guy is back. And more Billy Guy than ever. He owns a chainsaw! Uh, who else? Oh. Cobra's a- Cobra Bubbles, he's in the movie. I did not write a single note about him. Oh yeah, gone too. They significantly shrunk him down. In the first movie, Stitch was smaller than his fist. And now, he's standing next to some evil hamster alien mob lord. And... He's not that much smaller than him. Oh yeah, by the way, evil hamster alien mob lord over here. His name is Hamsterville. And his mission is to steal all of the experiments that Jumba somehow sneak on the Earth. That's right. There is 525 experiments that we have to meet. And we meet two of them in this movie. So, uh... Let's, let's go over them! Starting off with experiment 625, um, Fat Thor from Endgame. He has all of Stitch's powers and characteristics, except for two things. He's lazy, and he likes to eat sandwiches all the time, and he sounds like this. I'm gonna make a sandwich. Hey, Gantu, how about a sandwich? I don't want a sandwich! So yeah, basically for the whole movie, he's, he's chilling with um, gone to and the evil am hamster alien mob lord. He's just chilling up there. And at the end of the movie, I think him and gone to get like stranded in Hawaii or something. I don't know. So yeah. Um, next up, there's one other experiment we meet. Experiment two two one. Lilo calls him Sparky. I call him literally Pikachu. This is what he looks like. He's electric Stitch. He's an electric type Stitch. Remember one of our Pikachu's on set? This guy's why. This, this guy's why. Yeah, those are the characters. It's covered pretty much all my notes. Except for one thing. I have something to talk about regarding this movie. Oh, hey, I'm coming back from the future. Um, literally right after I finished recording. I forgot to mention that at the end of the movie, they get Sparky to light out the lighthouse, who, which was previously dimmed. And, uh, yeah, that he just is gonna do that for the rest of his life now. We have over 600, right? Experiments in little balls all over Hawaii by the end of the movie, right? All of the different types, shapes, and sizes. That kind of sounds like Pokemon to me. It can't just be me. I already made the comparison. Th this guy's Pikachu. That's straight up Pikachu. Groupin, he might as well be Snorlax. We have Pokemons. And sure, this might not sound like a worthwhile comparison, but Lila, this movie leads directly into Lila and Stitch of the series, which is a show that I haven't seen Yeah, about Lila and Stitch gathering all of the little Poke Stitches. That kind of sounds like Pokemon. I gotta catch them all. All of them. It's basically my theory about this, right? Disney made a popular movie, and they saw Pokemon, and they're like, Pokemon? I want that. Money. Then they realized they already had a popular series, but they could just turn into Pokemon. 
that's my theory. Um, so now I've gone on this, onto this mini rant, you might think my next video is going to be about Lilo and Stitch the series, right? No! It is Lilo and Stitch 2! Stitch has a glitch! So we're at the end of the video now. Hi. Um... You've watched pretty far into the video. Well, you've watched a um, decent amount. So I, I trust you, right? I might as well. I'm gonna face the video. Watch me. Oh, thank God I finally did that. How oh, gonna get it off my chest? Honey, oh so. In the nightlight, do you see what I hear? All your troubles are they away?